Hey there, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Today, we are going to have a look at the Nifty Keys from Create Audio. <laughs> First, many thanks to Create Audio to have arranged this demo thing, as they just sent me this to try out. Basically, what I wanted to try instantly was to make a polyphonic bookla synthesizer, <laughs> because it's made sort of easy with the tip-top new thing. Basically, what I wanted to do here was to make a four-voice Roland Jupiter kind of thing, but bookla, uh, which goes against every bookla thing to have a black and white keyboard, but whatever. I wanted to try. So I have uh, the complex oscillator from Verbos plus the 258T from TipTop. So one oscillator for each voice. I have one CV going to each of them. Then I'm using the QMG as a VCA low pass gate quite as well, one for each voice. One envelope for each voice with the 281T. And I have some utilities over there. And I added in the dark here, there is um, Blue Sky Reverb in Spring Reverb mode. Let's see how it sounds. Bad, right? So, um, first thing I need to point out that I have the modulation wheel here being an LFO being melted to different parameters over there. So, I'm, I'm a very bad keyboard player, I'm sorry. You can hear it here. It's doing some sort of um, waveform shifting on each oscillator when it's possible. I think everything's still approximately tuned together. Let's make sure by switching things to one voice, playing one note. Let's go back to four voices. So what I've done here is to set the three first envelope in trigger mode. So even if I stay, it's not holding the note. See? But the fourth is in old mode, so I can do stuff like this. That's one of the funny thing with the 20 ones that basically you can do that. Like here I will have the, only the second and fourth voices holding. If you set everything to hold, you will have a sort of organ style thing.
change this a little bit. Let's take the triangle out here, switch this to triangle and make all the waveforms gentler on each oscillator. thing you hear sometimes is that I had some uh, amplitude modulation from this one going to this one. So now it's a bit more quiet, let's say. So if I set all the decay to something more, something shorter, yeah, I'm more into the organ territory again. Let's see if I can sequence some stuff. Oops. Yeah. Function sequencer. some very cool stuff with the sequencing or arpeggiator so to change the to have more octave span. That's a pretty damn weird organ. We'll modulate the pitch a little bit with some of the LFO to make things a bit more weird. One thing that's fun is that we hit these kind of envelopes if you start to put them like if the attack is longer than the pulse train they will start to divide time so you so this is how I've been having the most fun with this is to make arpeggiators with one given speed but with weird envelopes going in and out like this one of the other very fun thing you can do is to start making like using some, perhaps some internal modulation, like cross modulation between things. So you get it 
into a more Bukla style territory. So yeah, I think I'm in Lopez gate mode. Go to VCA. Doesn't change much. Let's go to Lopez. Get some more creamy results and we can add some resonance. Let's go back to VCA mode, something more conservative. I'm going to use long, long attack envelopes only. It's not long enough. We can create some cre very complex sounds like this because of the layer of notes and the inter frequency modulation from one oscillator to the other. So depending on the notes you play, it will act on the other one. It's also almost uh, layer synth-esque, as some of the sound will be longer, take sometimes to appear or disappear. cool soundscape and the cool thing is that latch button I like to use it with this kind of thing to make drones but where where you can easily change the notes playing you can make some very beautiful haunting thing and then just one of the things the Bukla paradigm is good for. Let's go back to Lopez gate. It's the super plucky percussive thing. Let's put everything back to uh, trigger mode. One thing that I'd like to try with this is maybe let's send the velocity to control the decay of all those envelopes. So if I play soft, I just have those. If I play hard, I have longer. <laughs> it's funny with the FM thing. Let's, let's remove the FM for now. Let's see. One of the um, things that I don't like about this keyboard so far, I'm sure it can be added in a firmware update, is that if you are in four voice mode, or even any of the poly mode, there's no uh, round robin type 
like alternating of the voice. It means that if you play like this, it will only play the first voice all the time. It will start to play the second voice only if you maintain the first and then play the second note. Same here for the every voices, basically. So as I'm not a keyboard player, this disturbs me a little bit. I would like to be able to just play like play like this, that it will uh, change voices one after the other. It would make a more interesting thing with modular, I think. There's also lots of split modes and stuff that I'm not going to check right now, but let's have some fun. Oh yeah! So let's try the the aftertouch for the envelope length. That's it as well for the arpeggiator. It would be awesome if, if it would cycle through all the voices instead of sort of playing them all at once. Of course, we could use, I could say that the mod wheel becomes a manual thing and that it will be this that controls or decay and it could control other things at the same time of course Another thing I wanted to show you is something that you can do with the QMG, but I'm pretty sure it will be possible to do it with the future Tip Top Audio Quad Lopez gate, as they work the same. I think they should be. If you plug some control voltage, it just adds up to the to where the, your control pots is. So it effectively adds stuff to drone. at a certain level. Which gives you something different than this latch thing. Let's go for something pretty random. on bucle thing random arpeggio <laughs> this will be even better with a external clock <laughs> FM everything from this oscillator.
Well, that's it for now with this setup, actually. I will show you a few jams that I've made with another setup, which was the first I ever tried with this, uh, with the polyphonic envelopes from Verbos. <laughs> That's it for today. I'll come back with uh, some other Bukla oriented things inside this case, but with less of a four voice poly synth kind of uh, things to it. So um, stay tuned for more things with this soon. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave comments of, uh, if you want me to try some setup. I would try as well a Roland poly setup with this, like a homemade Jupiter. That's it for today. I'll put some sound on Patreon as well. Thanks again to Create Audio for sending this. And uh, see you later. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.